So we have some news today. Uh, after the game, Aaron Judge is talking to MLB reporters and tells them that, you know, his wrist still isn't feeling good. He's not even swinging a bat right now. Uh, what's your reaction to that? And can Giancarlo Stanton keep this team alive? I mean, he's been a one-man band there. Well, it's definitely a blow in that locker room, especially you don't know the timetable of Judge, when he's going to come back. And you know firsthand, Big Hurt, you need reps even when you're healthy, especially with the wrist area. Mm -hmm. So this is a shock, and we don't know the timetable, so it's a little scary going in that locker room with four. You know, it's not a shock for me. This man has a lot of torque. He's strong as an ox. His wrist is going to take time to heal. You know, three weeks is not enough for a fractured wrist. I mean, for, for a fractured wrist, it's going to take him at least six weeks. So I'm looking for him to get back first of the September, been, been healthy. They're going to need a big September out of this guy, but I don't know if they're going to be able to get those rests because the minor league seasons are closing down. They'll be in the playoffs at that time. Which has, you know, for John Carlos Stanton, he's used to being the focal point of the offense, especially coming up in Miami, being the guy. He relishes in this role. The last 30 games, he's hitting 300. He's focusing on his bats, not giving away a bat because he realizes how important each that is to take pressure off Andujar and Torres and company. And like I said, when you saw that home run today, he had that smile like, oh, yeah, this is my team now. <laughs> so, you know, you want to see that fun. You want to see that energy. And that's why you took on that big contract to have that guy. And another key is Gary Sanchez getting back healthy. Right. I mean, he's had a horrible year at the plate with average-wise, but this guy can get hot in the herd, and the Yankees going to need a big seven timber from him also. I agree. You said in our production meeting that Stanton is still going to get some pitches to hit, though, because... Not ever swings looking like he is <laughs> full boat there. I think he's setting him up right now. Yeah. I mean, he'll go from an awful swing and the next one he's out of the ballpark. That's good. I mean, bottom line is he's used to being that guy pitched around a lot in Miami. He's going to find that down the stretch if Judge doesn't get healthy or Sanchez doesn't get healthy. But he can handle it because he's one of those guys that, hey, he can strike out three times. The next one he's going to hit a grand slam out of the ballpark. That's the type of hitter he is. He's been on fire. 19 RBIs in his last 19 games. He hits his 28th homer tonight. So the Red Sox have two AL MVP candidates on their team, but who Dontrell is more important to the Red Sox? Is it Mookie or is it JD? Oh, don't do that to me. Don't put that <laughs> evil on me, Ricky Bobby. I, I, I don't know. I, I think they feed off each other. I'm going to go with JD just because he's the power threat and it forces teams to have to pitch, pitch to Mookie. So they play off each other in Big Hurt. You know that from experience being the, the power threat in that lineup. But man, I mean, Mookie, he always has a polish to bat. He stays on the barrel and is a tangible with uh, the, de the defense as well. So uh, I still I go with my man JD just for the growth mm -hmm. of him in that lineup. I think they're equally as important to this team. But Don't you're be a right. flopper. But you're right. JD is very important. Having that rock in the middle of the lineup takes the pressure off Mookie at the top. It takes the pressure off. Well, it puts pressure on pitchers not to be so, I guess, picky with Mookie because you know JD is launching in the back waiting for you. But bottom line is they're two great players. They're top two right now for MVP. I don't know what's going to happen. I think they're going to take votes from each other. You got to get off the fence. If you have to yes. pick an AL MVP right now, Wait Kurt, go, who is it? I'm going to go with J.D. Martinez because the effect he's had on three different ball clubs in the last two years has been incredible. Yeah, I agree. He's turned into Miguel Cabrera, and I'm so proud of him. I saw the development. I gave up the first home run he hit, so Ooh. now he definitely owed me some money because he's making <laughs> some big money, so I'm expecting that check, J.D. Land quick. in the weeds, J.D. Martinez. <laughs>